Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have something completely non-book related, but if you've been on this channel for a little bit now, then you know that I enjoy camera equipment and I enjoy techie things and stuff. I'm not really a tech tuber or anything like that. There are plenty of other channels who will be able to go so much more in depth in this than I will be able to, but I'm just gonna give you the quick highlight and let you know how this is gonna change my booktube realm for vlogging, okay? Turn the volume off of my computer. Huh. Anyway, so let's get started. I got myself a new camera. I don't know how to open the box though. <laughs> So this unboxing, we're already doing great. I pre-ordered it. I've had it for a few days now. Probably by the time you see this, probably a week and a half. Like I got it, I think it was delivered on like August 2nd or August 3rd or something like that. Whatever the Monday was. Um, no, I got it on August 2nd. It got delivered on August 2nd and I couldn't pick it up until Monday because of life. Um, on that fit. So I've had it for a while and it's been sitting here staring at me, right? But look at it. I got the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. I know a lot of people here on BookTube have the Canon G7X Mark II and a lot of vloggers out there have the Canon G7X Mark II. You know, the people who are really truly vloggers and not people who just do book vlogs for a popular book. Um, so I'm really excited to open this because I want to use it today to try out vlogging. <laughs> so, to talk about why I decided to get this um, while I'm doing this, I had really wanted the Canon G7X Mark II. I could never justify the price for it though, um, because it was definitely lacking in a lot of areas. Um, so in the box you get um, your charger. It's a cute, one of those nice small little wall chargers. But it's definitely lacking in a lot of areas, especially compared to its counterpart of the Sony Sony team. But we all know Sony has done a lot better job over the years than Canon has. Okay? We all know that. So. Ooh, it's a little thick. It's a little thick. So here it is. The Canon G7X Mark III comes in both silver and in black. So it's either going to be all black or silver like the one I got. And look how pretty it is. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. This is definitely going to change my vlogging realm. Look at that. Look at that. Nice flip out screen right here. Easy to hold. All that good stuff. Right, so let's talk a little bit about the different specs of this one, the new one, compared to the G7X Mark II. Um, so this one, let me, let me pull this over here. Gotta pull my notes on over or else I'll never remember it. Um, so this one, um, what makes this one already so much different than the Canon G7X Mark II is that it you can do 4K 30 frames. Like, that's a big one for Canon. A lot, you know, none of their point and shoots, I don't believe, can do 4K yet, except for, you know, that's not a point and shoot, it's mirrorless, so forget that. Um, and you can do full HD at 120 frames for video, which is great. So if you're looking to get that little bit of slow-mo in your videos, you know, Sony already had that. But if you're looking to get that buttery smooth slow-mo slow in your videos, there you go. Now you can do it in a compact frame. Um, this is a 3-inch and it is a touchscreen panel um, with that tilt, uh, obviously 180. Um, I don't. It doesn't go down you know, straight down, which is fine, but it does go up. But, and then also another important feature about change this from the G7X Mark II is it now comes with a mic input. So how exciting is that? I'm really pumped about that. Um, which also changes like your vlogging game and when you're out and about, because if you have something like I have here, um, these like little lavalier, lavalier, lavalier mics, however you say them, then you can plug them in and clip them on yourselves and then you're so good. Especially, you know, so you don't have to have a, um, big ol', um, Rode video mic or anything like that on it. Even though they do, they do have the Rode video mic go and it looks like you could do a DIY like some people were doing with the Canon EOS M6. Looks like you could do a DIY right here with some Velcro and use the Rode Video Mic Go 
to put that on there. Who knows, I might do that, I'm not sure. Um, I didn't like the Velcro sticking to everything. Um, you have your typical, you have your normal turnstile, and you can also do manual photo controls and stuff like that. So you can control your aperture, um, your shutter speed, you can keep it completely in manual. And you can also keep it in auto, and then it's got your cinematic video as well. Um, what makes the processor different in here is this now has a Digic 8 Im imaging processor um, compared to the last one that has a Digic 7 imaging processor. Don't ask me to go too much into that because I cannot tell you more than that, um, but that is what it has for those of you who do know. Um, it does have built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth um, so you can automatically transfer your images to your phone or anything like that to keep it nice and easy. It can charge by USB, USB charge slash power supply compatible. So you can just plug this in to something, plug this in um, with the USB cable. This is the wrist strap that came with it. It came with a battery. So it came with a battery and a battery charger did not come with a USB cable. It looks like, oh, it's a USB-C. Oh, and fancy it's a USB-C cable so you can also use that to transfer images and then you also have an HDMI a mini HDMI cable if you're trying to display them so I'm gonna find a memory card and we're gonna pop this shit in we're gonna see if this battery is charged or if I'm gonna need to change charge the battery which I probably could have been doing but while I'm working on that so I decided to finally get it you know it's not like it's cheap by any means um, but I decided to finally get it um, because, like I said, I do, I, I like blogging or I, I pretend, I mean, I, I don't pretend. I have an extra Peak Design wrist strap, so I'll probably just put one of those on here. But anyway, so we're just going to do a little test video. i got to set it up, of course. Um, but while I'm doing that, so I decided to um, to do this one. To finally get it because I have been normally when I vlog I do vlog with um, my Canon EOS M6 or my GoPro um, my GoPro you know of course is is really portable and small and easy to take around easy to throw in a bag and easy to do stuff like that and so it's not a bad vlogging camera especially for the simple stuff um, and I'm trying to use it more than trying to wait for, um, um, <laughs> shit, <laughs> than trying to wait for, um, a reason to use a GoPro for some, like, extreme reasons, okay? And so I am, um, this does shoot in RAW, too, so for photos, um, this does shoot in RAW. So now I'm going to start a video. here oh my gosh welcome 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 there we go smooth I haven't played with any of the settings here on this video um, I bought I like the colors from what I can see on the screen we'll see um, like I said I haven't played with any of the settings yet to try and fix any of the continuing auto autofocus whatever autofocus it's already detected my face so I can definitely already see it has face detection on it um, of course almost all cameras have face detection now and so but this is me talking into it without a mic um, and you know the reason I loved the Canon EOS M6 as my vlogging camera this one was because I could put a mic in it like the Rode Video Mic Go or something like that and I could put that in there and have good quality sound so that way you can actually hear what I'm saying. So now we are going to put the mic in it and we're going to see how much of a difference we get um, between those settings. You know, because that's, that's important. Maybe. And so I've got like a standard, like, I don't know what these things are called, but standard headphone jack, lavalier. I'll link it below. It was really cheap, like really cheap. <laughs> like, but it's done me very well.
I'm gonna have to get more USB-C cords. Nothing I use has USB-C cords, so we're gonna see how fast this moves. Like I said, I haven't played with the settings, but if I touch it, um, you know, if I touch it to focus, it's focusing all right. It's focusing um, at a pretty good pace, um, but like I said, I have not played with the settings to try and see if there is like a faster autofocus. I once again have to get used to looking into the lens and not into the screen, um, which I always seem to have a problem with, even on my Canon. Um, M6 and so but I was saying I decided to upgrade from oh, wow. I'm not sure if it's an upgrade but I decided to um, change from this to this because this is smaller this is something I can put in my pocket I can easily put it in my purse it doesn't cause much of a scene even though this does have interchangeable lenses which has helped me out a lot especially taking it on vacation but you know, I've got trips planned and vacations planned and book net fest coming up. And so I really wanted something small and something I could easily take in and out of purses, in and out of bags and things like that without it causing too much of an issue or um, drawing too much attention to myself. And so I think this is going to work out just fine. Um, I did get the um, care package through Adorama on it. Um, so that'll help too, to keep it safe I don't always do that but something was just like go ahead and get that go ahead and get that so I'm gonna turn this off I hope this audio has been playing well um but I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off now um let's see if I can get used to clicking the back screen so hmm? boom but so anyway so this is the new camera that I plan on vlogging with um I cannot wait to start doing it I'm probably gonna start doing it like right now um, so we're gonna get things done. I gotta get out of here because I gotta go help my mom with the quilt show because it's August, so it's quilt show month. So I will vlog a little bit of that as well as some other stuff that I've got going on in my life and some wrap ups and some cool things like that. Where's my thing? Y'all, it's early. It's really not even that early. Feels early and that's gonna be it. Um, Follow me. Don't forget to hit subscribe on my channel so you never miss anything. Um, I know this isn't book related, but it will be book related because I'll be using this for a lot of book vlogs. And I'm excited about that. Um, and also for Book Net Fest, which I do need to do the Book Net Fest tag. Um, don't forget to follow me on all the social medias. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video. Um, and let me know if you guys want me to do like a follow-up after I have like used it for a while Tell you if maybe you should upgrade or not because like I said, I don't have the G7X Mark II I decided to go with this one, which I'm glad I waited. I don't normally wait But I had been waiting for this drop watching Canon rumors for so long uh, But anyway, that's it for me y'all or else I'll keep rambling. So until next time keep charting the pages